Hi guys, and thank you for coming back again. I am gonna do a video on just some of my tricks that I've learned, some of the little things that I use to save money, um, and I'm gonna show you my new best friend for mixing paint. This whole stirring business has given me damage right here, really, really bad, to the point that my doctor has told me that I have got to stop doing that for six or so months so because this repetition constantly um, has inflamed the fascia which is a membrane that covers your muscles anyway so it's um, myofasciitis is what it's called and you can see the difference in the arms that one's kind of swollen but anyway not important so I figured something else out I went to the thrift store excuse me I need some coffee I went to the thrift store and for 50 cents I bought this Proctor Silex mixer for 50 cents and it was still in the box. It kind of blew me away. But anyway, then I thought, hmm, this is Apex. It's beveled. See what I'm talking about? It's beveled. It would fit right like that. So. That's what I'm gonna do in here in a minute. Also, some other things that I have found, I saw them on someone's channel, I can't remember who, they were resining a piece and they had these little stands and mine are well used now. I got these at Home Depot, I'm sorry, Lowe's. Um, it was less than $5 for 10 of them and I use them all the time now, not just for resining, but for keeping my paintings up off the, off the um, surface of the table. Those push pins are just, they get on my nerves. They most certainly do. And the cool thing about these is that they are such a fine point that whatever it sits on, it doesn't leave a mark, even in the paint, it's bizarre. And they're also interconnecting, so you can connect them together, like this. See? Oh! Or you can make a little train or a pterodactyl if you want to. Um, See, isn't that so much fun? I think I squirreled off on these for an hour when I got them home, just playing with them and trying to, see, you can do like a little dance with them. Do, 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 do. Anyway. So, Lowe's. Um, then, also, at my local hardware store, I do have the little metal sifters and strainers. Um, I just left them over there. Are these? These are, these were 15 cents a piece, so I bought eight of them. And it is a filter, disposable filter for my flow trough and my wipe. So, there's those. We're fixing to use some of those. What else? Oh, dollar store. They have boxes of these. So when it gets too bad where I can't read anything anymore, I just throw it away and get another one. Or use it to measure stuff in. I don't, you know, if I can't read the, the numbers, then you can't read the numbers. <laughs> I don't know anything else, what else to say about that. So, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. so, and they nest inside of each other-ish. Um, and then also, these funnels, dollar store, indispensable. They're nesting, they're plastic, so they're, they clean up easy. And if you're so inclined, you can make a keychain because look, they left a little hole. <laughs> and then this one um, I got at the dollar store, I think, but it was with something else. Um, but anyway, um, these, I got these at my local hardware store. They are plastic, um, just clamps. And I'll show you why I, I grabbed these here in a minute. Also, at the dollar store. This is a toilet bowl brush for convenience stores, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> it's just where I've seen them before when I'm using the bathroom is that I've seen these kind of brushes. Well, let me tell you something. This has become the most indispensable tool, not only for personal hygiene in my fingernails, but for getting stuff like paint off like a surface that I don't need it to be, like the floor. But... One side of this is real stiff, or two corners. So it's shaped like a or like a square with a round tip on it. It looks disgusting, but I just emptied my coffee maker and it, it's got coffee grounds in it. 
but I bleach this every day. Anyway, it goes in the shower with me because that's how I get my nails clean and keep my, you see that white right there? Watch this. Pesto gonzo. And I don't have the cracks on my thumbs anymore because all that paint hanging out. Because I tend to wear gloves, but not all the time. So anyway, indispensable. I know it looks filthy, but it's not because look, I just made a pot of coffee and I had to empty it. Anyway, so that's that. Now, to keep things from falling over when I am mixing paint or pouring something into a bottle, which by the way, I got 50 of these little bottles. They're, um, they're peri wash bottles for perineal areas. It's for cleansing uh, immediately following or prior to surgery. I got them from Amazon. They were $23, but I got them for free because of customer service issue. And you get 50 of them. They have a little pull up top with four holes, okay, but it still streams out just like you would if you had like a condiment bottle. They are eight ounces each. Is that right? The numbers are clear, so they're kind of hard to see, but, um, and plus I don't have my glasses on. I believe these are eight ounce bottles. I'm pretty sure they are. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find it. Dun, dun, dun. These are called Patient Cleansing Bottle by Medline, M-E-D-L-I-N-E. -E. Again, 50 of them for $23. And they're awesome. If that gets clogged up, because what I do, you just have to make sure you close it and then wipe off the top when you're done. If it gets clogged, you just grab it, pull kind of, just squeeze it, and it pops off. And then you can just take yourself a nifty little tool and scrub that out over the sink. Or you can do that, whatever you want to do. You can also take the lids off, get it back on, you just hold it, and pop it back on. So, now I'm going to show, and then I just use masking tape. Um, I'm starting to do this. I was writing on the bottles, but you know what? The writing doesn't like to stick around too long when you're wiping down the bottles. So I decided I'm going to use masking tape and I just leave a little tab so I can pull it off easily. So I'm going to be mixing some paint here and let's get to it. First I want to get some Floetrol strained. So I use this. Let me show you. Let me finish doing what I was doing. Okay, so this keeps my bottles from tipping over because this is how I hold the funnel and do things two-handed. And the reason I'm doing this in my kitchen is because I've got the sink right there so I can do a little bit of a cleanup on all my bottles. I go like that, just with a little bit of that hanging out. Ta-da! And it holds it over the hole, but you still have an air space so that the air and the uh, paint can exchange areas, I guess. I don't know, volume. They can exchange the, the space they're taking. But anyway, you get my drift. Um, I know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. I just can't think of the terminology. Sue me. Alrighty. So, let's do some paint. So anyway, that keeps, and even if I didn't have this little clamp, I would still use them, the container, because that way it doesn't spill if it tips, if I get too much paint in there. This just helps a great deal doing this. Drink it, drink it, drink. See, works very well. So I'm gonna set that aside. This is a silicone mat. I found this, and it's like restaurant size and thickness. It is a cutting mat, and I use it all the time now, especially when I'm in the kitchen doing stuff with paint. So let's see here what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. Get the flow chart going. I need to, yeah, I mix my um, paints now with nothing but Floetrol and water. If I'm doing something odd, then I might put some PVA in it, um, which is what I'm going to do right after I make this video. So, I just grabbed, oh, there it is. So, we're going to do this. Poink! Oh, there's more than one there, right? And I'm not quite sure if this is paper or if it's that like really strong, thin, plasticky stuff. We're fixing to find out. I've never used them, I just thought it was great. And look, it's got a little, little two holes on the side so you can make yourself a little hat if you want to when you're all finished. We might even try that. All right, so, I don't know if eagle beans fit on them, but I hate spiders. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Ah! So, I'm trying to desensitize myself to that. 
So I put this right inside my cabin, cabinet in front of my coffee cups. So I kind of go, eh, every time I open the door. So over time, in theory, um, it should lessen my, my arachnophobia. We'll see. This is kind of self-medicating, self-therapizing, self-therapy, therapizing, therapying. Th anyway, we'll see how it works. All right. So here we go. Just to get the lumps out. Ooh, wow, that comes out of there really fast, too. Me likey. Me likey a lot. And boy, did it catch some crap. You nasty little chunkaroos. Nasty, nasty. That looks like tapioca pudding, it do. I gotta stick my finger in it. I gotta... Limbs are bubbles. Okay, come on, man. So that doesn't seem to be getting wet. It's okay. So maybe um, maybe it's that kind of plasticky stuff. I don't know. So just to see how much I can push it, see if it rinses. <laughs> Presto, change them. Okay, so they're dryable, but they are a little flimsy once they've been, once they've gotten moist. They're a little bit flimsy, but that's okay. I can get another couple, three uses out of this. Just rinse it off each time. Okay, that was a storm by. Alrighty, so this one, I bet you, is probably, my paints are right here. Nope. I am Dalio, Dalio Blue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little cup. I just wanna fill this back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the flow trawl in the cup first. Is that on the inside? Yeah. Put the flow trowel on the inside first. Put this here. And let's see, we are at 20 cc's. Oh wait, I gotta get me glasses. Hold on, please. Okay, now I can see. Yeah, looks like I have got um, 90? Yeah, 90 cc's, which is also three fluid ounces in here. So this goes all the way up to eight to the very tippy top here. So if I've got three, then I am going to use, hmm, I'm gonna use hmm, two ounces of flow trawl, three ounces of flow trawl, no, two ounces. Yeah, three ounces, why not? And now you get to see why I like my nifty little trick. I'm just gonna set my bottle here to get it out of the way. This may be a little bit too complicated and too much for y'all, but you know what? I absolutely love tedious. I don't like tedium, I like tedious. Tedious makes me happy. It does, it do, it do, it do. So, oop. Oh, I got one other thing I wanted to show y'all. Hold up, please. This is a toothbrush tube paste toothpaste tube squeegee round twisty thing er okay so what I do take those edges off like so just don't cut into the bottle just go drink and then drink there's a slit in there now watch Just hold on to it. The first turn is the worst. If you can get it to go, you got it down. So there you go. I tap it down. Carefully open it up because you're going to get splattered like that. And this is why I need to be wearing gloves. And I have them right there. Another. I get two pairs of these at the dollar store at a time. Now I do have the blue gloves that I wear when I'm painting because I like to be able to change those. But these I love. So I squoze the air out. Now just gonna put what I think is gonna be good. This, this blue will thicken that paint up pronto. See, watch out. 
Watch this. creamy and if there's bubbles I'm not worried about it because I'm not using it right away I won't use this for like a week or later some other time I'm not worried about it so that consistent and plus you can test your consistency watch you can see how it falls off there your um, uh, beater there and that's just a little bit thick That you can't stir it, mix it that fast now, can you? So, get some water. And I like to use warm water, it just incorporates quicker. Just little bits at a time. about it. Still a little too thick. It's pouring good though. It's moving. It's still too thick. Yeah, that ought to do it. I think that'll just about do it right there. Yes, I do. And here's another good reason why I do this in the kitchen. You can just pop that off, set that down, step on over here. I start change, are you ready? Ooh. Oops, that was too quick. I was trying to be cute and it didn't work out that well. Well, only one tongue got blue on it, shoot. Okay, so but that's done. Now, that looks pretty good. Alrighty. So, bring this back on over, put these kitchen spoons. No, I'm not. Now, I took me a knife that I got at the dollar, at the, um, at the, uh, thrift store and it is silver plate. It's a nice silver plate too. And I just bent the crap out of it to make my own little palette knife and scraper. And I just let me make sure y'all can see this. I don't know. Let me should go around. I guess you, I could stand to be a little bit closer. Okay. So I'm just gonna Get all of that little bits, so there's no waste. So this is something that I only do now when I've got to mix a bunch of paints. To get, you know, because I paint all the time. You guys just haven't seen the videos. I don't put all of them up. Because when I when I when my website goes live, I want a lot of my stuff to be a surprise. Surprise! <laughs> hmm. There, now I can reuse that cup. However, word of warning, 
when you've got that little thing down in there, that beater, I need to move this, don't I? Oops. Okay. This, put the lid on, and voila, that one's finished. Oops. Oops. Now, I also know there happens to be a little, uh, little bit of silicone in here. Less than there was, because I've used it. So, now I'll just write P-H-A-L. Oh, one more thing. The beaters that have these little... Teflon tip on the end, you'd think, in theory, would be best for it because it will glide along the bottom of the cup. It also keeps you from scraping the bottom of the cup with the beater. So, it doesn't work very well. Anyway, when you've got this going on, you better have a grip on that because the first time I did it, I didn't think about it. I went, like, I went from here to here in one move. I had to repaint this kitchen. So don't do that. Hang on to your cup and only go up one notch. I learned, I'm just sharing that knowledge with you. So after you've got your done squeegee, make sure your lid is tight and closed, grab it, ta-da. And when you're all the way down, another thing you can do too is when it's compressed like this and there's no more paint, you can open the lid, stick it in Floetrol and then squeeze the sides and it sucks Floetrol up and you can shake it around and get some more paint out of there. I like using every last freaking drop. So, there's that. Now, hmm, I think I may have put some iridescent medium in one of these. That's probably what it is. That's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to make this into some iridescent. I'm going to try out this Ochrytrix. Ochrytrix. I don't know how to say that. Oh, yeah, anyway. But this is iridescent acrylic thinning, tinting, tinting, tinting medium. And I think I want to put some in here. So, we are going to go that. And I am going to go. Why not? This is going to be some. Ultra, ultra, ultra shiny, ultra whatever color blue that is. And I have learned, ladies and gentlemen, it is best to wipe the lids or the lips of your jars off. Just saying. Because that way stuff don't stick. I can do, how much, oh, I can do a lot more than that. We're just going to make this a shiny blue, bright blue. God, I sound like Bob Ross. Shiny, bright blue. I like that, man. I wish he weren't dead. My mother used to get so frustrated with me because I was on the living room floor <laughs> Sunday afternoon when everybody else was out playing kick the can or dodgeball or whatever those silly little neighborhood games they used to play. Hide and go seek. That was my favorite because if it wasn't me that was supposed to be looking for you, when they'd say, okay, everybody go hide, I'd go down to the beach. <laughs> And I did grow up in Alaska, but that's where you could usually find me. I was on the beach. Alrighty, let's see, that's done. I'll put you back over here. Now let's put you some of this. Get you to a pouring consistency, because I think all that will fit in that bottle. I'm going to get to every last bit of that. Because, yeah, this is going to be my last one. I think this is just universe saying you're done for the night buddy let's get it over with because i think y'all get the drift now that looks good 
So are these bottles optimal? No, they're not optimal, but the, you know, if you're on a budget, that's not bad. 50 of those bottles, that is not bad for 23 bucks. Okay, this should go pretty quick. Move out my damn way. Thank you. Oh, that's oh, that's iridescent. That worked. That worked well. Thank goodness. <clears throat> chance it and see what happened because I'm in a hurry I gotta go out to the side and put something in my lungs well that's working well and for somebody who cannot hit a barn from three feet away with anything that is round i.e. a ball I can sure pour me some liquids now can't I I can stay right inside them lines there. <laughs> but I don't think I'll be able to scrape it and do it. I'm going to try it though because I'm on a plastic mat. Plastic mat, man. Okay. Well, looky there. I can do it. Waste not, want not. Oh, by the way, y'all, I don't spend 100% of my free time on YouTube. I just don't. I've got other things I want to do. So if my channel takes off, it takes off, but it's going to take off slowly. And even when it takes off, I'll get to it when I get to it. So I apologize for those of you that have had to wait sometimes up to a month or longer for me to comment or respond to your comments. There was a couple months there that I didn't do anything on my channel because there were some things going on in my life. Anyhow, good things, but anyhow. So, I'm telling you right now, if you decide to comment, I do appreciate all the kind words. And if you're a meanie, go bother somebody else. Because I'll just block your butt. I don't care. You know, besides... <laughs> If you've got that much time on your hands just to look up channels to be mean to somebody, good Lord, get some Paxil, <laughs> some type of antidepressant, and get over your bully self. All right, so I think that's going to be it for tonight. <laughs> yeah, over and out, y'all. Peace.